Hi everyone, I'm Jin Teacher from Reading Town. Today our article is entitled Amazing Iris Grace. It seems like a real person that we get to learn about today, so it's kind of a biography. It tells us a real story about a real person's life. Let's read the passage together. In 2014, an autistic five-year-old girl from the UK, the United Kingdom, named Iris Grace received a widespread praise for her amazing paintings. I don't know how familiar with the, uh, you are with autism, but it's a learning disorder uh, that many people in America and all throughout the world, especially uh, as it says there in the United Kingdom, uh, a lot of children face this learning disability. Uh, and she was first famous in 2014 for what? That's right, for her paintings, amazing paintings. Iris's mother, Arabella Carter Johnson, first noticed her daughter's incredible talent in 2013. So her mother first saw it a year before that, hey, wait a minute, these paintings are amazing. Iris displayed astonishing focus when painting and poured hours of effort into coloring. So displayed means showed, astonishing is a synonym of amazing. So she showed an amazing ability to concentrate or focus when she was painting and uh, she would pour hours, so she would spend hours and hours just coloring these paintings or these pictures. Since then, her paintings have garnered praise from experts and fans all around the world, with some even selling at auction for thousands of pounds each. So, her paintings have garnered praise. That means a lot of people have given her praise or said, oh, it's amazing, said a lot of positive or good things to her. So garnered praise from experts and fans all around the world. So experts are people who are very skilled or knowledgeable about paintings. So some of these uh, paintings or pictures would sell at auctions. Auctions is a place where you would take something like a painting and a lot of people would, dip, uh, would put in different bids. So someone can say, oh, I'll give you uh, 5,001 for that. And another person will say, I'll give 6,001, 7,001. And it keeps going until the highest bidder uh, pays for or, is, or says, I'm willing to pay that much for that item. So her paintings were sold for thousands of pounds, I think. Uh, that's thousands of dollars in excess of that. In Korean one, I'm not quite sure, but that's thousands of dollars, thousands of pounds for each of her paintings that this little girl did. The next paragraph. Doctors often view autistic children's interests as unhealthy obsessions and try to suppress them. So here, children with autism, this condition, this disease, uh, many doctors, they think that when they become too focused on one little thing, it could be unhealthy obsession. Obsession is you only think about it, that's all you wanna do, that's all you care about. So they, the doctors think that that's unhealthy, it's not good for them, and they try to suppress them. Suppress them means kinda of keep it down, right? Don't let it get out of control. However, Iris's family sees her interest in painting as a gift of happiness that can be used to encourage bonding. So Iris's family doesn't really agree with the doctors. They say instead of suppressing or keeping down her interest in painting, they say it's, it's a good thing because it lets her be happy and it also uses it to encourage bonding. Bonding is the connection. So it allows them to spend time together and it's, positive thing. it's a positive thing for Iris. Now at six years old, Iris continues to make steady progress in communication, especially with the help of her cat, Thula. So when you're a child or a person dealing with autism, uh, communication is something that's difficult. They're not very good at expressing or speaking how they think or how they feel. So at six years old, she's getting a lot better. Steady progress, steady means it's continuously, little by little bit, Progress means it's getting better. So her communication, her ability to speak and talk to people, it's getting better. Especially with another help, not just her paintings, but also her cat. So usually people with autism, they have a dog or a cat or some kind of pet to constantly give them attention so that they can practice uh, improving their communication skills. The last paragraph, her development, paintings, and her family's effort to raise awareness for autism can all be seen in Arabella's book, Iris Grace. It has received a great response for being a positive, inspiring, but realistic story of an incredible journey. Arabella hopes Iris's story shows people autistic children can be approached with gentle methods, saying, my hope is that people are inspired and can see that there is a future a bright one. 
So a lot of people, when it comes to autism, uh, they don't know what to do. When they see a child who's autistic, all they know is, oh, that child is a little bit different. But autism is something that a lot of people are researching right now. They know that people with autism have incredible talents and gifts, but they just cannot communicate or express their emotions appropriately. So here it says that through this book, that many people get to understand this disease better. And also, we get to see that people with autism are capable or able to do great things. And they even have a future. So this is a story about a little girl named uh, Iris, Iris Grace, who through her ability and through her focus, even though she has the challenges of autism, she's able to uh, touch many people. Okay? So let's look at the questions from today's passage. This is a picture of Iris and her cat, Thula. After reading this article, let's complete these sentences. So let's answer the first comprehension question. What kind of disease does Iris have? Iris Grace has the focus of uh, our reading passage today was on the disease autism, right? Autism, like I said, uh, usually the characteristics are you have a very difficult time expressing, you have a hard time communicating and expressing your feelings. Uh, part B, what makes Iris so famous? Is she famous because she has a pet cat? Is she famous because she just has autism? Well, it says Iris, uh, Iris Grace received praise for her amazing cat, for her amazing, that's right, her amazing paintings. So as you can see, she would spend hours and hours just coloring, playing with different colors. The last question, what is Arabella's hope? Her hope is that people are something and can see a bright future. So Arabella was Iris's mother, or is Iris's mother, and she said that people are inspired. So inspired means you see something and it gives you hope. You see something and it challenges you. It makes you feel very strong inside to do something about it. So she hopes that people will be inspired by a little girl who has this disease and will hope to a brighter future, be inspired. The last portion of today's lesson, let's do our fill in the blanks. So once again, when you do your fill in the blanks, it's also helpful to see what kind of word is missing. And by seeing what words are present, you can kind of use those as context. Here, Iris displayed what kind of focus when painting and poured hours of effort into coloring. So she showed focus. So focus is the main idea, but what kind of focus? We need a word to fine tune it or describe it. So here, astonishing focus. Astonishing is a synonym of amazing. So she showed amazing focus or astonishing focus when painting and poured hours of effort into coloring. So just as we saw in the picture in the previous slide, we can see how she would sit there for hours and hours just coloring away. Uh, part B, doctors often view autistic children's interests as unhealthy, we talked about it earlier, unhealthy something that you only focus on, you don't think about anything else, it becomes an obsession. So doctors often view autistic children's interests as unhealthy obsession. So it's good to focus, but if that's all you think about. So even though I know a lot of students, they like playing cards or they like playing video games, it's not bad to do those things, but if that's all you think about during time where you're eating, that's all you're thinking about. During a time when you should be sleeping, that's all you're thinking about. That is an unhealthy obsession, okay? The last part, Iris continues to make steady something in communication. Communication is speaking, uh, talking. She makes steady, which we said little by little, step by step, continuous. Steady what in communication? She makes steady progress, meaning it's getting better, little by little bit. So, just as we read in today's passage, uh, let's use these vocabulary words correctly. Astonishing, amazing, obsession, something that you just keep thinking and doing. Pro progress, meaning getting better. Using these words, I hope you have uh, fun using these words and are able to express yourself clearly to the people around you. Let's continuously think about autism and how we can help children uh, and give hope to the future. Uh, thank you very much. I'll see you around.